e-filing forms 1099. In order to upload your clients 1099s to the IRS, you must establish an account on the IRS's FIRE website and you need a TCC or transmitter control code. To register for an account on the IRS's FIRE website, go to fire.irs.gov, click on the link Create New Account, and follow the on-screen instructions. To get a TCC, submit Form 4419 to the IRS. Access this form by logging into your account on the FIRE website and then click on Fill in Form 4419. Make sure to allow up to 45 days to receive your TCC. The TCC belongs to the firm, so you only need one to upload all your clients' 1099s. TCCs expire only if they are not used two years in a row. Once you receive the TCC from the IRS, in Drake Accounting, go to Firm, Firm Information Setup, and enter your transmitter control code in the TCC field. Then click Save. There are a couple of options available in Drake Accounting for individual clients regarding 1099s. They are located by selecting the client, then navigating to Client, Edit, Federal Form Setup. Select Final 1096 Return if the client will not be required to file Forms 1098, 1099, or W2G in the future, either on paper or electronically. Select Mask ID to have the SSN and TIN masked on all copies of the 1099, except 1099 copy A, and the 1098. You also have the choice of not printing the date on the signature line of the 1096. After you've made your selections, click Save. To process 1099s, go to Payables and then select 1099 Miscellaneous. Prior to processing 1099s, all live vendor checks must be printed and ATF vendor checks created in the correct year. Vendors who have received checks during the year are listed. Select all vendors at once or individually and click Process. Successfully processed forms 1099 are indicated with a check mark in the processed column. Processing vendors also prepares the 1096. You can view each 1099 by selecting the vendor from the Find Vendor drop list. If any changes need to be made, edit the form, but do not reprocess the 1099s as that erases any changes you have made. Since we're planning on e-filing the client's 1099s, we don't need to print copy A or the 1096, but we may still want to print the other copies for the client. Choose which copies to print and keep the defaulted form and data options selected, then click Save Print or Save, which saves the processed forms for printing at a later time. Our focus today is on e-filing, so we won't go into too much detail about printing. However, it is important to remember that if you are going to paper file 1099s, you must print copy A and the 1096 on the pre-printed redline forms. Now that the 1099 forms have been processed for this client in Drake Accounting, it is time to create the upload file for the IRS. Go to eFilings, 1099-1098, Create File. Your TCC that was entered in the Firm Information Setup screen is auto-populated in the TCC field on this screen. First, select the type of 1099 to transmit on the right side of the screen. Next, select Original File if this submission is the original file. Select Replacement File if this submission is to replace a file that the IRS couldn't process or for which the FIRE system indicated a file status of bad. Approximately 30 states participate in the combined Federal-State 1099 e-filing program. Through this program, the IRS electronically forwards information returns to participating states. If yours is one of the participating states, select Test File. Once the test file is received and approved, the IRS emails an acceptance, usually within two days. After the test file is approved, return to the screen to transmit the actual 1099 by selecting Original File. Choose the 1099s for the electronic file creation. The forms that are displayed are based on the file type selected on the right side of the screen. With all information entered, click Create File. 
The file location is displayed at the bottom of the screen. The path to this file is needed when transmitting the file on the IRS FIRE website. To upload 1099 and 1096 information, go to eFilings 1099-1098 Transmit File. Click the IRS FIRE link. Follow the prompts to log in and click Send Information Returns. Enter your TCC and TIN. Click Submit and Accept. Choose the appropriate file type, original or correction, and click Submit. When prompted, enter your 10-digit PIN and click Submit. Browse to the file location noted earlier and open it. Click Upload. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.